beautiful Tuesday morning in the Portage. Sun's coming up, ready for another day. Go get some shingles, go take them over to the distribution center. They got a load waiting for me. <sighs> Gotta get more coffee though. I'm on my way down to uh, the store in uh, Crawfordsville. So I thought I'd show you the kind of load we get when we go to the distribution center. Um, they, they load them up. They have a variety of building materials on there. And then they throw one of the lumber tarps on. And they try to load the truck so that anything that is uh, moisture sensitive is toward the front. And then usually they put things that like treated lumber or shingles on the very back. So let's take a look at what I got here. Here we have some, uh, looks like some, I think they're air filters. So they're very light. They always, they usually put something very light in the front like foam board or something light, which is nice. Um, normally we would put two straps over any pallet on the end but this is just since it's so light and it's barely tight it's all we really want to put on there then I've got various kinds of lumber under here and of course it's, the tarp is draped on when I get it but what I do is I lift it back and I look and I identify everywhere that it has them and then I have on the very top I have tubing here you can see And that tube is, is on top of stacks of shingles, which then extend out the back. This is more shingles than I usually have with these loads. And uh, go around the back side. All strap loads. Shingles like this are pretty straightforward, obviously. <laughs> Carry those a lot, it seems like. Here you can see some of that pipe up there. And so they, they look kind of funky. Um, this is pretty typical. They ride well though. Generally I, I look, at, look at them really carefully. Make sure that nothing that is uh, sensitive to water is at all exposed but it's a beautiful day and I'm only going I'm less than 100 miles from it now I'm up in northern Indiana so I wonder what it'll be like once we get uh, into the fall and, and snow and, and other things and I think we'll work out a lot of bugs by then I don't know, we'll see I was kind of hustling because I'm going home I'm, uh, I'm empty now in uh, Crawfordsville and uh, actually it wasn't too bad. Less than an hour though. You pull in, I mean by the time I finish my work they're taking off the, the pallets and then uh, next thing you know I'm empty. But I got a pre-plan and as soon as I put in my empty the load will drop on me because everybody's gone home. I'm going to load in Indy and uh, I'm about an hour west of Indy right now, an hour west of my home, so I'm gonna go home. Get up tomorrow morning, go load in Indy, take steel up to Chicago area. I think it's Chicago area. I gotta look at that. It's Elwood, Illinois. I have no idea where that is. Here's my truck. Not where it usually is, but I'm home and uh, I can't really park where I normally do, because take a look. Carnival's in town. And uh, my little truck is over there in the middle of it. And there it is. Hope I can drive out of here. We'll see. I shouldn't have any trouble. 
I don't think I will. Just gonna get my truck and go.